Theatre of Varieties by Aldous Huxley Circle on circle, the hanging gardens descend, slope from the upper darkness, each flower face open, turned to the light and laughter and life, trembling heat, quicken and awake the air. Flutes and crying of strings assail the sense, music, the revelation and marvellous lie. What is, what is not, truth and falsehood swim and mingle together. On the bright trestles, tumblers, tamers of beasts, dancers and clowns affirm their fury of life, and in a thousand minds beget a thousand hallucinations, dreams of beauty, nightmares. The world-renowned Van Hogen Mogen in the master mystery of modern times. He talks, he talks. More powerfully than music, his quick words hammer on the minds of men. Observe this hat, ladies and gentlemen. Empty, observe, empty as the universe, before the head for which this hat is made was or could think. Empty, observe, observe. The rabbit kicks. A bunch of paper flowers blossoms in the limelight. Paper tape unrolls. Endless. A clue. Ladies and gentlemen. Sharp, sharp on malleable minds, his words hammer. The little Indian boy enters the basket. Bright, an Ethiop's sword transfixes it, and bleeding is withdrawn. Horror, like a magnet, draws the watching crowds toward the scene of massacre. The walls bend forward to the revealing light, and the pale faces are a thousand gargoyles, thrust out, spouting the ichor of their souls. Ladies and gentlemen, the great Van Hogan Mogan smiles, and is kind. A puddle of dark blood creeps slowly out. The irremediable has ceased to be. Empty of all but blood, the basket gapes. Arise, he calls and blows his horn. Arise! Bird-like from the highest gallery, the little Indian answers. Shout upon shout, the hanging gardens reverberate. Happy because the irremediable is healed. Happy because they have seen the impossible. Because they are freed from the dull daily law. They shout. They shout! And great Van Hogen Mogen modestly bows. Graciously smiles. The band confirms the lie with loud triumphant blasts. The curtain falls. How quickly the walls recede, and the stretched gargoyles re-become women and men, who fill the warm thick air with rumour of their loves and discontents. Not suffering, even great Hogan Mogan, begetter of rabbits out of empty hats, scorner of nature, razor from the dead to invade the sanctities of private life. The lamps once more expire, and the red curtain glows like a hearth behind the kindled ramp. The hearth dissolves. God's eyes of limelight grope about the darkness, cross-squinting, squinting apart with splayed regard. Focus at last unanimously, a pearly vision with an open mouth, source of a sugared fountain. See, as she sings, the eyes of God change colour, voluptuously incarnadined with red, then green for horror, purple with condolence, then, at a blink, go out, disquietingly. She sings, O oh, revelation and marvellous lie, till Picardy blooms nothing but perfumed roses, with never a rotting corpse in all its earth. The six aerial sisters, Polpatini, dive from trapeze to far trapeze with all the clockwork certainty of stars. About his head, Sclopsus, the juggler, keeps in unremitting planetary dance a little host of silver spheres, and ever quicklier, throwing, 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 builds up a solid arch of movement. If he should drop an atom, or if they lose hold too soon and fall, but they can never fail. For if they did, what breath of panic would shake the pale flower faces that in the hanging gardens tranquilly bloom? Professor Chubb's automaton performs upon the vials and virginals, plays chess, 
ombre and lou mistigri trick track pushpin sings lily bolero in falsetto answers all questions put to it and with its rubber feet noiselessly dances the antique heidegai is it a man the terrible infant asks and no they say whose business it is to say such infants no and no again they shout when after watching dobbs and debs step simultaneously through intricate dances hammer the same tune with their rattling clogs in faultless unison the infant wondering asks and they are they machines music the revelation and marvellous lie rebuilds in the minds of all a suave and curving kingdom of heaven under god's bright eyes an angel walks and with one rolling glance blesses sun-like each flower in the hanging gardens o oh, heavenly smile and god illumined glances hair of gold and marble brow and silken comeliness of limb divine they say having no words by which to call a spade a spade divines in ocrate beauty being mysterious is therefore god and love a pleasure indescribable is god again and awe the dark abyss where words fall wingless and lampless is also god xenocrate divine xenocrate father the terrible infant's voice is shrill why does a lady wear no skirts she wears no skirts god's eyes have never been brighter the face flowers open in her emanation xenocrate sun-like xenocrate she is the suave and curving kingdom of heaven made manifest to the eyes xenocrate her belly is like a mound of wheat her breasts are towers her hair like a flock of goats her foot is feet with diamond toes and she on legs of ruby goes xenocrate divine xenocrate the face flowers rustle in the flagellant wind of her loud singing a poet in the pit jots down in tears the words of her siren song so every spirit as it is most pure and hath in it the more of heavenly light so it the rarer body doth procure to habit in and is more fairly dight with cheerful grace and amiable sight for of the soul the body form doth take and soul is form and doth the body make now boys together all with me for of the soul the body form doth take together boys together and soul is form and doth the body make xenocrate alone alone divine god save the king music's last practical joke still sounding in their ears bugling of glory the folk stream out into the soft damp darkness of saturday night in camden town already next week's bills are being posted urim and thummim crosstalk comedians ringpok the magian of tibet the two bedelias ruby and truby dicks sam foy and troop of serio comic cyclists infinite in resource each week from now till doomsday the theatre of varieties offers something new twice nightly every evening from now till doomsday its hanging gardens bedded with pale flower faces will echo with ever new delight while on the shining trestles tumblers tamers of beasts dancers and clowns will affirm in strange new ways their everlasting fury of life